Welcome to another edition of ProSoft Technology Video Training. In this edition, we'll be setting up an ANX2 AV HMI communication module. The ANX2 HMI allows users to upgrade their existing remote I.O. panels to PanelView Plus 6 on Ethernet IP. In this video, we'll use the ANX2's onboard web page to assign an IP address. I'll also quickly go through the steps to use the module's link local IP address. We'll create a CSV file to configure the Rio settings in the module, and we'll use Factory Talk View Studio to configure the panel view. To get started, I'll access the Annex 2's onboard web interface where I can change the IP address and assign a new host name. The Annex 2 gateway is shipped with the link local IP address of 169.254.42.84, which can be accessed regardless of what subnet your computer is using. So I'll plug the Annex 2 into a switch that my PC is plugged into as well. I'll open a browser and enter the module's link local IP address. Now, if the page does not come up for you, it could be that your computer is not set to route the path of the address. And there are a few quick steps that can fix that. So first we'll open up the command prompt. If you're using Windows 7, you need to open the command prompt as an administrator. Uh, if you're using Windows XP, then you don't have to worry about that. and we'll find out the current IP address of the computer that you're using. So once command prompt is up, we'll type ipconfig, and what we need is the IPv4 address, and this is the address the computer is using. So when you find your address, write it down. Now I'll enter a command that will tell the computer to route the Annex module's link local address. So I'll type route space add space 169.254.0.0 mask 255.255.0.0 then a space and then enter your IP address then space and then metric 20. Hit enter, and if everything was entered correctly, you should be able to access the Annex 2's web page now. And here's the Annex 2's web page. Now we're going to type in the default IP address and choose an Annex configuration. I'll change the module to static IP address. I'll name it Annex AB HMI. Then I'll set the IP address, the net mask, and the gateway. And last, we'll choose the HMI firmware. And when all this is done, select Submit, and then click Continue. And then after waiting 60 seconds, type in the IP address that we just assigned the module, which is 10.1.2.14. And that should take you to the module's configuration page. So now we're going to configure the Rio side of the gateway with a CSV file that's found on the CD or on the website. And if you don't have the CD or internet access, you can just copy the sample configuration out of the module by clicking on View Configuration File and highlighting the config and copying and pasting it into a notepad file. So now we need to see the existing BTR and BTW, that's a uh, block transfer write and read values, going to the original HMI and mimic it in the CSV file. The BTR is rack three, group zero, slot zero, reading into N31 zero for a length of 64 
and a BTW is rack three, group zero, slot zero, writing from N31128 for a length of 64. So we'll change the rack from one to three on both block transfer, read and write. So now we'll save the CSV file and download it to the Annex module by clicking on Configure Rio to Ethernet IP. Select Browse and choose the CSV file that we altered and choose Send File to Annex. So I'll open up Factory Talk View Studio and we'll configure the panel view. I'll create a new application and name it New Panel View. And first we'll create a new display and add two numeric displays. I'm going to copy the first one so that they're the same size. Then I'll expand RS Links Enterprise and Communication Setup. I'll click Add and name it Training. Now under Ethernet, we'll create a new device. We need to choose a PLC 540C and we'll give it the IP address of the Annex module. So find that module under Ethernet and right click on the PLC 540 that we just created and select Start Browsing and select Copy from Design to Runtime and click Yes. We're going to make sure that the PLC 540 is moved into the Runtime tab. Click OK to leave the communication set up and go into the main screen again. Now we can scan tags in the existing PLC. So right click on the first display and choose Properties. Under the Connections tab, click under the Tag cell. Right click on the project and choose Refresh All Folders. We'll expand Training and Online and you can see the end files in the PLC. Now if we look at the PLC BTR and see that the first data file is N310, back in Factory Talk we'll choose N310 and select OK. Now we can do the same to the second display, but we choose the first file for the block transfer write, which is in 31128. Select OK, and now we can test to see if the configuration works. So in the top left, select Test Display. In the PLC, we will change the N31128 word and see that it changes the second display. I'll go to N31128 and I'll set it to 5. And there it is. So everything is working. That is how you configure an Annex 2 AB HMI communication module. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit our website. Happy training, everyone. Signed in the configuration file that will map to the DHP node. Click OK. Now we're going to add a shortcut to the IP address of the alias. In the Device Shortcuts panel, click Add. 
and give it any name you like. I'm just going to call it DHP. We'll apply the shortcut to our alias IP address. Click yes to accept the shortcut. And finally, click copy from design to runtime. Click yes and click OK at the bottom of the screen to apply the changes that we've made. Now we can return to the main display and we'll add a numeric display from the menu bar. In the numeric display properties window, go to the connections tab and click under the value cell. Right click on the project and choose refresh folders. At this point, we should be able to use our numeric display to scan the DHP files in the PLC5. And here you can see the files. And that's how you configure an Annex 2 AV Rio DH Plus HMI gateway. If you have any questions or would like to see more training videos, visit our website at www.prosoft-technology.com. Happy training!